Hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Kun from the China National Forest Economics and Development Research Center, and I'm going to tell you about forest landscape restoration in Southwest China. Nationally, China's conversion of cropland to forest program covers almost 30 million hectares and compensates 32 million families. I'm part of the team that monitors the program. We have 100 local enumerators interviewing almost 1,200 families in 100 counties over 22 provinces for 15 years now. For the past few years, we have invited C4 researchers to come with us to the southwest provinces, Sichuan, Yunnan, Guangxi, and Guizhou. And work with us to share what we've learned so far. Now I'm going to zoom down to that regional level and tell you more about what the program looks like in the southwest. Restoration in this region is extremely important for ecosystem services. It's a global hotspot for bio and ethnic diversity. It's also the source of several major rivers. That cross China and Southeast Asia. Everywhere are mountains, from the Himalayas in the west to the steep karst formations of the east. Some parts are dry and eroding, and others suffer from major landslides and floods that sometimes wipe out large area downstream. Historically, the rural population in the southwest. Has been poorer than the average. Long ago, high population densities spurred people to intensify agriculture, especially paddy rice in river valleys and right to the hilltops. Restored forests vary a great deal with local economic and ecological conditions and choices. Economic trees are planted more in this region than the north, because the climate is right and they bring needed income. These range from groves of walnut and chestnut, orchards of loquat and pomelo, eucalyptus and rubber in the south. Elsewhere, great stands of native Chinese hardwoods and conifers are growing for long-term sustainable management. Since the CCFP was implemented, with the participation of over 10 million families in the region, forest cover in sampled counties of this region has increased by 15 percent, compared to 9 percent elsewhere. What makes such a large-scale policy involving so many farm families work? First, the design of the program. From extension to outreach to monitoring, is highly coordinated among the government departments responsible for different sectors, such as planning, forestry, lands, finance, and this coordination goes from the central government to provinces, counties, and townships, and it comes together at the village level. Second. Local and higher-level inspectors visit farmers' forest land each year to ensure compliance. If tree survivalship falls below 80 percent, subsidies are withheld until they comply. Importantly, the program has systems for transparency in land allocations, inspection results, and subsidy payments, with the information posted in villages. Or online to prevent misuse of the system. In our visits to farmers over the past few years, we found they can always show us the bank book listing their subsidy payments and almost always their tenure certificate. With the CFO team, we have reanalyzed some data and also recently did a review of the CCFP literature. One finding is that the CCFP has encouraged a shift from agriculture to work or farm, reducing pressure on forest land. 
Another finding is when farmers have more choices. For example, what trees to plant, more trees survive. So, consultation, communication, and participation are key factors of success. The government is continuing to strengthen these areas. It is still hard to generalize about reduction of erosion and floods in the southwest because data are patchy. But many farmers interviewed report that there has been great improvement, and we think this is true. We've also been learning more about some of the problems in the program. In some places, selected species didn't grow well. In one site in Sichuan, for example, after local foresters replanted better species, survivorship shot up to 90%. So, good site species matching is key. We know that new CCFP forests are often low in biodiversity. Though forest ecology tells us this could change with good management, especially in the southwest where rich native forest is often close enough to allow dispersal of native species. That's one of many topics for further study. Thank you for listening.